On today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. So I picked up these two 30 watt panels to install on my Jeep, and they actually are working pretty good for me. The compressor style refrigerator is 45 watts. I know I'm not getting a total 60, but check it out. So I got this 30 watt panel. And then I hooked the solar back up to it. It's definitely charging it. It's supposed to have a built in regulator, but we will see about that. Comes in this box with a manual. A couple of those, what do I call those? That for the cigarette lighter and a trickle charge plug and a couple suction cups. And it comes packaged pretty well. A few moments later. Compressor's running. It's hovering around 11 volts. I mean, I do have that f little front solar hooked up. 11, it really don't pop over 11. It's actually going down. But I have that small solar in the front hooked up. I bought it when I was in Florida. They were on sale. Now watch. I'll hook this one up. Ready? Bam. I just plugged it in. Now let's see what it does. Compressor is definitely going to pull way more power than the solar panel will feed. Absolutely, it's holding pretty good. You know, the compressor shut off for a little while, or the valve, the TXV, maybe shut off. You see how it's charging back? That's nice. Fridge still works good, though, boys. Now, I'm thinking I'll keep one solar panel on that side, I'll get another solar panel for this side. You'll never see out these windows anyway. There's so much stuff in there. Then figure something out for this mess where they all go into. And that's 10 gauge right there. So maybe I'll leave that. But I want to get some tie wraps or zip ties, whatever you guys want to call them, and have that pulled in all the time. I probably should switch everything over to these. That'd be probably the way to do it. Can't even see it barely three days later i did buy the other panel boys so now i got two panels i suction cupped on the top and the other one's just kind of sitting on the lip down here on both sides what i want to do is i know they make like a 3m little stick on piece with a little stud that you can put a screw and then i'll put all four on the window i have it plugged in here it's not the best method I know and it has four plugs was it so I can still use if I have to I had a tie wrap here I cut off I'm gonna put it back that's a hold it from backing out I think that's run on a 20 amp fuse back here it's on all the time so it's gonna back feed up front the older J cage used to have a position on the fuse that you could plug in whether you want it on with the switch or on all the time. I don't know if this does, but this came on all the time, so that was good. What I'm going to do is use this jump pack. Remember, I used this jump pack to test out the one solar panel when I first got it. And now there's two. So it's 12.86. So what I want to try to do now, I am going to plug it in right now and see what it does. Just went up one, two. I do agree that it's not going to be the most efficient because you're only going to get sun from one side at a time if you're lucky. At high noon, you're probably not going to get enough sun to make the panels efficient, but they will work until I figure out a way to put it on the hood and I'm not spending that ridiculous amount of money to buy a hood mounted one. You can't see in, which I mean, I got some stuff in there anyway, so. It already has a tinted security glass. There it is tied off. It's not gonna go anywhere with that cover holding it. 
I don't think. Both solar panels, the blue light is on, which means it's charging. I'm gonna try plugging this in and see what it does for voltage. Technically, if these panels both run at maybe 50 or 60%, it'll almost keep this refrigerator running without a battery. I'm gonna let it go for a minute or two. The refrigerator was off with nothing in it too, by the way. It's been about a minute. It's still hovering at 12, 11.9. Huh, I'm gonna leave it run for about five minutes. I'll come back. It's been five minutes. We're down to 10.6, 10.5. Let's give it another five or 10 minutes. All right, it's been another five minutes. And it looks like it's still holding at about 11 volts there, boys. Not bad, not bad at all. I'll come back and another five just wanted to show this is where I'm parked in relation to the Sun's coming from there but I don't want to blind you so it's really not hitting one panel directly and it's not hitting the other panel at all so we'll see how it does all right another nine minutes have passed I hear the compressor still running Wow it's actually still holding at 11 volts and we're down to four celsius so it's going to shut off pretty soon so i'll give it another five minutes and i'll come back five more minutes the temperature has been satisfied the compressor is not running anymore and we're at 12 volts look at that so just for sheets and gig holes i'll come back in another five minutes and see how how well it charged the batteries back up Well, just caught the compressor shutting off again. Well, you look at that. It's actually coming back up. That's awesome. I just caught the compressor shutting off as I got out here. So I'm pretty impressed. Definitely happy with the results. So that's it, boys and girls. But wait, there's more. Amazon is so efficient. Got this huge box for a little bitty antenna. Good job. We're saving the environment. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.